All right, in this rack, I made that three. I don't really like how that two and five are kind of behind the stripes and um, in a bad spot. So I go ahead and go with the solid, or stripes to start with. So I go ahead and make this 14. And then I've got the 15 right here in the corner. I'm going to try to draw and get into that, or get where I can get that 9 ball. Ends up hitting that 6 nice and square and not leaving myself a good shot to end up behind the 5. Um, so what I end up doing here, and every once in a while this comes up, you have to do a kick or something like that. Um, something kind of interesting to note is, if you look at all my break and runs and stuff, I don't do very many kicks and banks. Um, so this is actually a pretty rare shot that I have to do. I'm actually pretty good at kicking. I'm not quite as good at banking. Um, most people find banking easier. For me, kicks just seem natural. So I go ahead and kick that ball in, the 12. And then I basically shoot the 13, I push the 9 out right here. I know I'm going to go into the 9, so don't fight it. Just push it out, get it nice and open. Now I've got the 10 ball. And I go ahead and shoot straight up. And there's a nice little window right in there that I can kind of slide over, bump the 5, and I've got a nice little shot on the 11. And then I can just kind of go around the 2 and the 8. Um, and I got a nice easy shot on that 9 that I pushed out a minute ago. And I want to get myself relatively straight on this 9 so I can just draw back and that 8 does slide right by the 2 in this uh, top right corner pocket. Had I gone ahead and shot that 9 before shooting the 11, I would have had a tough shot to get on that 11, so I kind of like that 9 first. In this rack, once again, I make a 3 ball there in the corner. Uh, the 5 also went in. And what I really don't like in this is if I were to take stripes, uh, that 13 and 10 and 15 all kind of end up a little bit tied up together um, hard to work around so I go ahead and go with the solids and I go with the 7 ball and what I really wanted to do is push that 2 more towards the rail it would have left me pretty easy um, instead I kind of tied it up with the 6 fortunately that 2 was close to the 6 and it's close to dead on for a combo um, so I end up having to shoot the 2-6 combo um, I know the 2 is going to slide by the eight ball there so I'm safe um, don't have to worry about hitting it in so at this point the rack's fairly open I'm able to shoot the four ball up in that corner I'll come back and I'll hit the one and then basically stop for the one I'll hit the two um, and on the two ball I bump into the stripe there and use it to stop position on the eight ball um, if it weren't for this other stripe kind of between the cue ball and the two ball I would have wanted to go over a little bit and then follow up and be on the end rail um, but because of that stripe I basically had to be on that side of the two to basically end up drifting over there